All right, welcome back, folks. It's Crazy Walder, and in today's video, I'm showing you guys another one of the gadgets that I recently bought. This is the Taro AI camera follower. Now, if you haven't been following along with any different um, devices, such as, for example, um, the swivel um, and other sort of motion follow cameras, this is a really awesome product that basically allows you to have your own camera, man. And let me demonstrate really quickly as I walk around exactly what I mean. Now notice that as I am walking, the camera is following me around by itself without any additional intervention on my part. I'm not pushing any buttons, I'm not really touching anything, I'm just strictly walking around um, and then the camera is following me as I do that. Now to achieve this they've got a tracker up on top. I'm going to try and show that to you guys a little bit so you can see. And also there's a little tracker that I'm actually wearing which is an armband of mine. I'm going to take that off and kind of try and put it higher so you can see that it's now following the camera up on top and then down to the bottom um, and then it kind of goes a little bit further. So you can see here's the, the tracking band that I have which normally sits on my arm and then as I move that up and down the camera also ends up following it and moving up and down. This means that you can effectively shoot things like skateboarding, um, your biking, basically anything that you want to do that involves an action camera shot or that involves basically capturing your subject. You can do that by, you know, following, making this thing follow the band. And again, as you can see, you can move it up and down and it just does it on its own. Now, this is incredibly awesome because this particular product is only about $180 for the GoPro slash smartphone version, which is the one that I have. It also comes in a version that can support DSLR cameras or mirrorless cameras um, for mounting those kind of bigger and heavier cameras so you can have those follow you around. And again, this makes it incredibly easy for somebody who maybe doesn't have time for a cameraman or really you need to go out and just shoot a video right then and there and you need to be able to capture shots of you moving. This is the best way to do that and the best part is that it's stabilized with a gimbal so at any given time you're getting really steady footage from this thing without necessarily having to um, go and get a cameraman with a steady rig and you know be able to go through all the hoops and basically paying a lot of money just for that in and of itself paying wages so on and so forth this thing makes that basically a cinch now I'm gonna try and get some more videos for you guys of this thing in action um, once I kinda have some more of my bikes put together and also once I am doing some more of my videos where ultimately I'm moving around a lot and basically filming different um, different things different subjects and as you can see you know again this thing is really awesome it's really straightforward um, in order to mount everything it really doesn't take all that much time at all um, I think to put this together took me maybe a total of five minutes and after that it was essentially good to go the only thing it took me a little while to figure out is that you actually have to have the orientation be exactly like this um, otherwise it basically does not end up working as intended now what I found is that if you oriented the other way the motors in the system end up basically grinding which is not ideal but you know at the same time when you kind of put this together you can look at the videos on the Taro YouTube and that'll show you the way to mount everything properly now currently I'm using sort of a ghetto fied version um, of a GoPro rig I ended up actually ordering a specific bracket for holding a phone um, within a mount specifically designed for gimbals and then that mount also includes a version that's designed for the GoPro session which is what I have um, to mount my session in there so that it, it's actually able to um, record. I found a lot of different versions. One of them had a kind of rib that goes over the central portion of the GoPro session and that's a bit of a problem because that means that you can't really push the record button unless you flip the GoPro on its side and the issue with going that route is that then you have to go and flip the video and post and sometimes the aspect ratios end up getting thrown off and it's just kind of a pain. So that'll be sort of the next step for me. Um, I can also use my smartphone, but currently I'm using the smartphone as a recorder for my camera so that I am able to get slightly better sound um, out of the road mic that I use. But again, you can see that this, this unit is really tiny. It's really compact. Um, it's kind of hard to, you know, to really show you the exact dimensions, but basically if you consider the fact that that case back there is designed for a Samsung Galaxy S8, 
that sort of gives you an idea of roughly how large the unit is, which is to say that it's not very large at all. Um, the carrying case that it comes with is roughly about 13 inches in length and about 5 inches in width, so it's not particularly big. And the carrying case you can use to obviously carry this thing around. Now you can see that mine in particular is set up on a tripod. Um, so the tripod is kind of the way that I have this mounted. And I think that that's probably the best way for most people to have this device mounted because it gives you the most stable platform to use the device on and ultimately it allows for much more flexibility in getting the shots that you want. Now I believe that they do have um, potentially a smaller version that they're working on which may potentially be mounted to something like um, a drone. I'm not 100% sure on that at the moment but the other version of course is the DSLR version which again you know you can use for bigger cameras. So if you're filming on a budget, again, you can't afford a cameraman, or you really need to get certain shots where you're doing stuff by yourself, um, maybe you're doing tricks, this is perfect um, for those kinds of scenarios. And if you're somebody that does how-to videos, or if you're somebody who's an educator, um, this is the perfect device for this, because again, for the price, what you're getting is a really awesome tracking device that works indoors, it works outdoors, and it's able to track you with different various types of cameras um, as you are basically moving around the space, so you can kind of move from, say, um, a lathe to a hydraulic press or something in your shop and record the whole event, um, basically with the camera sitting in one spot and then just moving as you move around your shop. Um, you know, if you're somebody that likes to go mountain biking and you need to get that action shot of you traveling through a bend, um, this is perfect. Again, for somebody who's a motovlogger, um, this is another perfect um, camera uh, companion because you'll be able to actually record um, certain shots of you um, doing really you know awesome you know for example turns really awesome tricks whatever it is that you want to do um, this is able to help you record that and again you know you don't have to use the arm tracking bends on you know yourself in particular you can put them on an object um, so long as you can velcro them down or attach them otherwise and you'll be able to track that object with this camera so for example you could put this on something like an RC car and record that as well um, you could put this on a you know RC boat you could put it on an RC plane potentially if you want to go that route and it will most likely be able to record those objects fairly easily. Now what I have found is that the tracking does have a little bit of latency to it as I'm moving around right now. Um, it's not 100% one to one but also my device is not 100% charged currently. I've been kind of messing around with it throughout the day so it may not be like the perfect um, solution for everyone. Um, but with that said, you know, again, it's it's fairly consistent in terms of movement speed. And I found that so far it works really great. I'm testing it indoors currently. I'm gonna do some test runs outdoors again, like I said, once I get my bikes. Okay, folks, so that in essence kind of concludes the video for my really brief and quick Taro overview. If you wanna see more videos about the Taro, or if you wanna see um, some more information, or you wanna see a more in-depth video, of this thing, I'll kind of go over the various um, settings that are on the Taro itself, um, as well as the tracking tripod and sort of the basics of setting everything up. But until that video, um, hang out and watch some of my other videos on the channel. I'll be having more follow-ups to this as I make more videos of various um, different projects that I'm working on, and hopefully you'll see just how great this unit is for uh, making how-to videos, for making tutorials, and in general for just being your own camera companion that follows you around as you do various different tasks around the house and as you essentially make your own films or what have you on a budget. Again, this is the perfect device for that. I could not recommend it more at this point even though I've only had it for about a day so far um, with minimal testing, but already um, I can tell that it works incredibly well. Um, again, some of the other competitors out there that are kind of like it, such as the Swivel, don't work nearly as well um, for this kind of stuff. So what you'll see is that this really just outshines the competition by a long shot in pretty much every single conceivable fashion. And as I go through and make more videos, you'll be able to see the various different settings and features that it has, um, in addition to what I've shown off today, and we'll go from there. So again, I'll see you folks in the next video.